This video is sponsored by Nissan, innovation that excites. Visit partsadvantage.nissanusa.com for more information. Do you know the difference between static testing and dynamic testing when it comes to scanning and recalibration? Static testing is done in shop with targets being placed at specific points for radar systems and blind spot detection systems. Dynamic testing involves a road test to examine the physical response of a vehicle system to variables that are not constant and change with time. During a test drive, you may need to drive the vehicle much more than around the block, possibly up to 70 miles. This brings up a whole bunch of things to consider. Distance. Think about what goes through a customer's mind when they get their vehicle back and there are 40 additional miles on their odometer. Fuel. Some tests require that the vehicle have a full tank of gas so that the vehicle is at the correct pitch or angle during tests. Route. Plan your route. The vehicle may need to drive north-south routes so as to avoid driving into the sun while testing. Be sure the route has all the parameters needed, such as signs and lines on the road. Vehicles may need to maintain highway speeds for up to 10 minutes for completion of the dynamic test too. Weather. Weather can play a big role in testing. Rain, snow, and clouds can have an impact on testing, as these factors or lighting conditions could affect the sensors. Equipment. Not every scan tool can do static or dynamic testing. On newer vehicles, a factory tool may be required. Whether you scan in-house or sublet it out, be sure the tools are right for the job. Post-repair scan. Do you scan before a road test or after? Maybe both. When in doubt, refer to the automaker's repair procedures. To simply call the drive at completion of the repair job a road test does not do it justice. Dynamic testing is so much more. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.